Have you ever met someone with blue eyes and felt a little intimidated? Maybe even a bit scared? Well, blue eyes are often described as beautiful, mesmerizing, even angelic. But there's this other side to them, a certain intensity that can be a bit unsettling. Today we're going to take a deep dive into this fascinating paradox. Why do blue eyes seem scary? Let me tell you, it's just not in your head. And it's a lot more complicated than you think. First off, let's acknowledge that blue eyes are rare. In fact, they are only found in about 8 to 10% of people worldwide. This rarity automatically makes them stand out, as our brains are wired to pay attention to what's different. Think about it. In many parts of the world, especially in regions where blue eyes are less common, encountering them can be a genuinely unusual experience. This novelty can trigger an unconscious otherness response. Of course, it's not necessarily negative, but it can definitely contribute to a feeling of different. And sometimes different can feel a little unpredictable, maybe even a little threatening on a primal level. However, rarity is just the tip of the iceberg. So let's talk about what might be happening in your brain when you meet someone with blue eyes. Generally, visual contrast is incredibly sensitive to our brains. Now, blue eyes, because they have lower levels of melanin, often appear much brighter against the white part of your eye. This high contrast naturally grabs our attention. It's like a spotlight, and while there's no definitive study that says blue eyes are scarier by nature, but this striking visual impact, this bright, contrasting gaze, can feel more intense. In fact, it can even stimulate a stronger emotional response in some people. So if someone has blue eyes, the brightness and contrast might make the gaze feel particularly intense, as if that person is trying to say something without saying it. Additionally, there's also some fascinating science behind why blue eyes appear the way they do. The truth is they aren't actually blue because of blue pigment. Instead, when light enters the eye, the way it scatters through the iris gives blue eyes their distinctive blue appearance. This scattering effect also means blue eyes can reflect light more intensely than brown eyes, especially in certain lighting. Interestingly, this heightened reflectivity can make them seem to glow, almost like they're emitting light. And that glow? It's subconsciously linked to something quite primal. Well, many nocturnal predators like wolves, cats, and owls have eyes that reflect light in a similar way. Thus, in nature, that glow often signals something watchful, something alert, something to be aware of. Now, I'm not saying at all that blue-eyed people are predators, but our brains are ancient and these deep-seated associations can still influence how we see things. Now, here's another fascinating layer, pupil dilation. As we all know, our emotional state and lighting determine how big our pupils are. And guess what? Pupil dilation is often more noticeable in light-colored irises, like blue eyes. When someone is feeling strong emotions like fear, anger, or excitement, their pupils dilate. And in blue eyes, this change is quite striking, creating a very intense and direct gaze. It's like you're seeing right into their soul, and that level of emotional transparency, while sometimes alluring, can also feel exposed and even a little unnerving. Beyond biology and physics, culture plays a huge role too. Think about it. How are blue eyes often portrayed in movies, books, and folklore? Well, they are often associated with mysterious, powerful, and even villainous characters. Whether it's the icy blue eyes in villains or the piercing gaze of supernatural beings. It's a common theme. Of course, that's not the whole story. Blue eyes are also tied to innocence and purity as in the case of the baby blues. Nevertheless, the darker, more intense associations are definitely out there in our collective consciousness, subtly shaping how we perceive blue-eyed individuals. These stereotypes are definitely amplified by the media, and they reinforce the notion that blue eyes are somehow linked to otherworldly, and sometimes that otherworldly can be a little scary. So are blue eyes actually scary? In short, the sometimes intimidating effect of blue eyes isn't due to any mysterious or supernatural power. Instead, it is the product of a fascinating interplay between the physics of light, the biology of our visual systems, and the complex weave of cultural narratives. 
Nevertheless, blue eyes remain one of nature's most captivating features, and the reactions they evoke are as varied as the people that see them. And so as we wrap up, let me tell you one thing. The next time you meet someone with those amazing blue eyes, take a moment to appreciate that they're beautiful, they're rare, and yes, sometimes they can be a little bit intimidating. But that's just part of their mystique, isn't it? Thanks for watching The Conflicted Mind, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.